Stocks retreated yesterday amid uncertainty over whether the Fed will cut its key interest rate. The Dow tumbled 115 points. The Nasdaq fell 63 and the S&P 500 dropped 14. Workers at an Amazon warehouse in Minneapolis say they'll hit the e-commerce giant with a strike on its heavily touted Prime Day, which begins next Monday. The strike is being organized by a group advocating for Somali and other East African workers. Employees at Amazon's non-union facilities in Minnesota began complaining publicly last year about harsh working conditions there. Meanwhile, to accommodate the growing trend of online shopping, Cole says it will begin accepting Amazon returns at its more than 1,100 stores. The retailer will pack, label, and ship returns for free, hoping it will draw customers into its stores to make purchases. The national rollout is time for the back-to-school shopping season. And parents want to send their kids back to school after less than two weeks of summer break. That's based on a new survey sponsored by Groupon. Three out of five parents say they worry their plans won't live up to family expectations. And summer plans put a strain on the wallet. On average, parents spend more than $7,000 on making sure their kids are occupied. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall.